Hello, and welcome to this updated tutorial on Face Transfer 2. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the new and improved Face Transfer interface and recap the ways you can use this great tool. I have a basic scene created with a base Genesis 9 figure posed at the table with no expression applied. I dressed the figure and applied a hairstyle that I want for the character that I'm creating, but now I need to apply a face that I want. As you can see on your screen, I have the Genesis 9 figure selected in my scene tab. So now I can go down to the face transfer tab and select the drop down menu next to the source image, which currently says none. We want to select browse from that, which will bring up this uh, pop up window. From this window, you can navigate to exactly where you have your images that you want to use. So in my case, I went to my D drive, face transfer two, and I have a portrait folder that I keep all this on. So I'm going to select this photograph here, which is actually one of my daughter that's lovingly called Rando. And this will be the image that we want to apply to the existing Genesis 9 figure. So down at the bottom of the face transfer tab, you'll see this section here. We want to go to base. This is typically defaults to auto. For our purposes here, we're going to choose Genesis 9, but you can also choose Genesis 8 if you prefer. And then gender, we're going to make sure is on female, not male and then we're going to click generate. So because I have the Genesis 9 figure selected in my scene, I get this dialog box that's asking me if I want to create a new figure or replace on selected. So since I want this character to become this portrait, I'm going to choose the replace on selected. So something to keep in mind when you're taking the photograph or uh, choosing a photograph to be used for face transfer, you need to make sure of a few things. Number one is you want to have neutral lighting because you don't want to have any major cast shadows on the face because that could uh, interrupt what face transfer is trying to do with the image. The second is it should be a neutral expression like you would for a passport photo or something similar. One thing to keep in mind when it comes to that photograph uh, is you want to make sure that your chin stays down. Some people have a tendency to raise their chin for a photograph. So you want to make sure that your head is neutral and um, you keep your chin down for that image. Uh, and the last thing, number three, would be that your hair should be pulled away from the forehead, temples and cheeks uh, so that face transfer can get the best image it can of what your face dimensions are and the shape that needs to be applied. All right, so our face transfer has been applied. We'll give Iray a second here to uh, finish rendering our preview. But as you can see right now, uh, that's pretty instantly recognizable uh, as my daughter's face as it stands. The major features of their face, like their eyes and mouth, came through great. The proportions uh, are accurate as well. Uh, so it definitely looks like my daughter sitting at that table now. So just for fun, why don't we do another one here? And we're the next one we're going to do from scratch. Uh, so first things first, now that I created this character, we're going to click save. So you have two tabs under the face transfer tab. We have generate face, which is where we started. And then we have save face. Once the face transfer has been applied, uh, it will show you this here. So you can go down to the bottom, click save. And then I'll choose, let's see, put it into my face transfer to folder that I had already and we'll label this, I'll just give it the same name, call it Rando, and click Accept. And we'll give that a second to do it save. And so what this is doing is this is saving the new shape that's been created, along with the textures that have been applied. All right, so that save is done. So now let's go back to the Generate Face tab inside of our face transfer window. And we'll go back to source image and this time we'll click on these three dots that will bring up the same folder that we were already in previously that we navigated to. And I'm going to select this one here as a good passport photograph. Down at the bottom, I'm going to keep Genesis 9 selected, but we're going to change from female to male. And in our scene tab, we want to make sure that we unselect the Genesis 9 figure because we don't want to overwrite the one that we just did. So now that there's nothing selected in our scene. Uh, face transfer is going to create a new Genesis 9 figure uh, that's male with this face. So we'll click generate and we'll give that a minute to do what it needs to do. All right. So now we have our second character in the scene and uh, the character that is brought in uh, from from face transfer to when you're doing it from scratch, will show up in your scene at your zero point, which uh, is right where he is uh, next to the table here. 
Uh, and it looks like, let's go to our perspective view and zoom in on his face. And as you can see here, uh, other than uh, no hair, because we can still apply hair after the fact, uh, this is pretty much a one-to-one -one of our initial image here. I'd, I'd say that's pretty darn good. So I hope you found this informative and helpful and uh, enjoy creating.